the food table. The Quran says, Say, O believers, we have believed in Allah and what has been revealed to us and what has been revealed to Abraham and Ishmael and Isaac and Jacob and the descendants of Israel and what was given to Moses and Jesus and what was given to the prophets from their Lord. We make no distinction between any of them and we are Muslims in submission to him. So as I mentioned before, Islam means to submit to one God and worship him purely and live in peace. After we talked about believing in God, believing in the scriptures, believing in the angels and believing in the prophets, now we're going to talk about the day of judgment. Death is not the end. Death is the beginning of the true life. Everyone is going to be resurrected after death. And we're going to be standing before Allah. And Allah is going to be holding us accountable of what we believed and what we did in our life. Everyone is going to be reading their books of deeds. So the believers and the ones who did good deeds will go to heaven and the wicked ones will go to hellfire. The last belief is to believe in the divine destiny. Nothing happens without the knowledge of Allah. Allah has prescribed everything from the beginning. He knows the past, the present, and the future. Sometimes we exaggerate in our feelings, and we don't know what is the wisdom behind things that is happening in our life. So if we really don't know what is right and what is wrong for us, so why are we exaggerating in our feelings? So for example, if my brother died, God forbid, in a car accident, instead of saying, oh God, why did you take him away? You know, that's not fair and things like that. Believing in the divine destiny really changes our feeling of happiness and sadness to acceptance. Allah knows the past, the present, and the future. But does that contradict with the freedom of choice? Not at all. You know, God has the best example. Let's say that there is a mother and she has a son that he is four years old. And she knows her son very well. And she tells him, don't play with a ball over here because there is a vase. And if you break that vase, I'm going to be punishing you. 